defining a generation of aircraft is not really up to the manufacturer, right? It's, it's, it has to do with capabilities. So if you go back and you take a look at how aircraft have evolved, uh, especially tactical aircraft, and we talk generations, right? I believe uh, third generation was marked by the introduction of missiles. Uh, fourth generation brought uh, radars, uh, advanced missiles, and advanced flight controls. And fifth generation is marked by stealth and sensor fusion. Those are the hallmarks, the trademarks of what makes a fifth generation fighter fifth gen. So, you know, when you talk about what makes it generational, it's the capabilities. The generation concept is uh, only really uh, one way of uh, describing a level of technology. And I think that uh, what uh, warfighters and air forces and uh, nations should really consider is the capability they want. So what is the threat? What's the strategy? What's the doctrine and tactics, techniques and procedures to counter that threat? And then focus on that capability rather than looking at uh, a way of uh, describing uh, the technology levels. Gripen's unique capabilities, uh, Gripen E, uh, we're moving up, moving up from Gripen C capability, is uh, unique survivability, uh, unique lethality, by the use of uh, networked uh, active passive sensing, which we have all across uh, the, the airframe. Uh, and then using all that information in, in, a, in a network, uh, the high uh, data rate exchange, that allows us uh, a whole new way of uh, warfighting.